Hi guys, my name is Christine and today I'm talking about how to overcome shyness around people and just generally how to overcome shyness. So as someone who was very shy as a child, um, basically what helped me become a little bit more extroverted was uh, when I was in secondary school. So when I got to about 11 or 12 years old, and um, that's when I started coming out of my shell because you know I started connecting and making more friends. Because then when I was younger than that, um, I was a bit more isolated, I didn't have much confidence, I was kind of afraid to go up and approach people. Um, but it wasn't until I started secondary school, which was basically basically like a fresh, clean slate for me, because a lot of the people there were new, um, you know, a, a lot of the other kids there were new, like I didn't know hardly anyone, like I knew some people from who'd come from the same school as me, but most of it, you know, was completely gr new group bunch of people. And that, having that new freshness definitely helped me at that time. It also helped that a lot of the new friends I made were a lot more extroverted. And I was able to come out of my shell a lot more because, um, you know, I was able to get past that old identity of being a shy child, right? So another, there's a few things that you can do because obviously you might not be in a situation where you can put yourself in a completely new environment. But, you know, what you've got to understand technically and if you can understand this intellectually i think it will really help and that is you know if people you know you got to let go right yeah you have to let go of this idea that you want everyone to like you right because not everybody is going to like you and sometimes when you're shy i think that's one of the things that we worry about as shy people we worry that if i say something now am i going to look stupid or is this person not going to like me but the thing is, is that no matter who you meet, there are going to be people that really like you, there are going to be people that don't like you, and there's going to be those people in the middle that don't really care. So, you know, you have to kind of realize that, hey, you know what, no matter what kind of social, social situation I am in, there are always going to be some people that don't like me, right? And when you realize that, you're like, okay, well, there's there's no reason for me to not be myself. There's no reason for me to not, you know, go up and talk to these people. It's okay for me to go out and speak to people and just be myself and just relax into it. Because if you do that, then you know, you're know you at the opportunity to make new friends and the people that like you will stay and the people that don't like you will will just you know fizzle off into the distance, right? It's all about you know just being yourself, you know? And if you wanna really go up and speak to someone, then do it, you know? It doesn't matter if it ends up them not really liking you that much, them not really wanting to be your friend, them not wanting to do business with you, whatever it may be, because at least you've tried. And the more you do it, and the more you go up to people, the more you start initiating conversations, the better you will get. Because basically like social skills and stuff is like a muscle, it's a skill. It's something that you can develop. It's not something that, you know, um, it's not something that, you know, it's it, when you see someone who's really, really social, it, it's a number of factors as to why they are that way. So I think sometimes we are born, some people are born a little bit more extroverted, some people are born a little bit, a little bit more introverted. But you know, when I'm around, per, I'm naturally introverted, I would say. But when I'm around people who are extroverted, I naturally become more extroverted. So a lot of it has to do with your surroundings and the people that you surround yourself with. You know, someone who is, um, uh, let's say, very introverted, but grows up with like pa parents who are very extroverted, then the likelihood of you becoming extroverted as well is more high, right? So the point is, though, is that you need to kind of keep on putting yourself in situations where you need to talk to people, where you need to approach people, where you need to, you know, start conversations with people, because that's the only way that you're going to get better. You know, obviously a great book on this and everyone talks about it. It's one of the most famous self-help books in the world. And that is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And, you know, it's some. It, I think sometimes we get in our head too much. You know, when we go up and approach someone, when we're talking to people, when we're in, when we're in some kind of social setting, you know, we're thinking, oh my God, do these people like me? And you're kind of questioning everything you're saying, everything, the way, even the way that you're standing sometimes you can question. Like, oh my God, no, I need to stand more confidently. And you're just in your head. But the thing is, is that you know, if you want someone to like you, the best way to do that is to actually talk about them, not yourself. So taking you know, the focus off of yourself and onto them, not only does it help you become less in your head and it makes you more confident, but also it helps the other person you know, develop that connection with you because they're really, everyone loves talking about themselves, right? 
And, um, you know, if, if you get encourage someone to talk about themselves, obviously then the focus is, is off you, but also you are connect, you're connecting with that person in a way that they love because everyone likes talking about themselves. So the best thing for you to do when you're in a kind of so- social situation is to like say to people like, hey, um, how are you? How are you doing? How was your weekend? You know, it might be the case that you remember things that they've said about their life, like perhaps their car was in the garage right, and had, had was having repairs, you know, if you remember that, go up to them and say, hey, how's your car doing, is it out of the garage yet, is the, all the repairs done, you know, and then talk about that, um, or it might be the case that you're approaching someone for the first time, you know, and you're asking questions about their life, you know, say, so, um, you know, if, if there's someone you work with, you go, hey, how are you, my name is so-and-so, obviously, um, uh, you know, and how, how do you, how did you start working in the company, um, what, you know, what got you to this place, you know, what, what got, you, got you to this point, you know, ask, you know, ask them questions about their life, and what is brilliant about that is because you don't really have to do that much, all you have to do is just be a little bit inquisitive about them, and they will just stand there and talk about themselves for hours, unless, of course, they are also shy as well, which might mean that they are a little bit more, um, they might not be as responsive to your questions. But the truth is though, if you are a shy person and you're trying to help someone else not become so shy, you know, the best thing for you to do is to be yourself. Because when you're yourself and you're just being your funny, goofy self, you know, cracking jokes, kind of like behaving how you, how you would be if you were around your best friend, it allows that shy other shy person to drop down their guard and start being more themselves. And this is how basically I became less shy when I was when I started secondary school. I met a friend who was a girl and she was very, very extroverted. And she was just funny, she was goofy, she wasn't afraid to say really silly things. She wasn't afraid to be herself. And because she wasn't afraid to be herself, I then felt like I could be myself as well. And I wanted to be funny, I wanted to be my funny, goofy self too, you know? So, you know, if you are, you know, one of these people that are trying to, you know, get to know a shy person, you know, just be yourself, because when you are yourself, you're giving permission for everybody else to be themselves as well, and that's something that's really, really important, so, you know, I know it can be tough if you're shy, and you're, you know, very introverted, and you're not very extroverted, but when you start doing it more, start being yourself more, you know, more people will open up to you as well, and the more friends you'll make, the more connections you'll make, so being yourself is probably the most crucial thing that you can do, and also, when you do approach people for the very first time, talk about, you know, talk, try and find out things that they are interested in, that they could talk about for a long time. And, you know, if they feel like they can do that, and they love talking about themselves, and they love talking about their, you know, the things that they've accomplished, or their hobbies, they will love you, because you are giving them the opportunity to talk about themselves. You're giving them the opportunity to talk about their life. And guess what? Not many people do that for them. Most of the time, you know, if you are trying to talk about something about yourself to someone else, usually, you know, the topic doesn't last very long. You know, it's very rare that that someone has an opportunity to really talk about what's going on in their head, about their lives. You know, so if you offer that opportunity opportunity to them to, 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 to talk, to talk about the things that they love, they're gonna love it because they, they're gonna get excited, you know, because we all want to talk about the things that, we, you know, right now you can tell that I really love talking about this kind of thing, because I'm, I'm really enthusiastic about it, and most of the time, the only time I can talk about this stuff is when I'm talking to the camera, right, you know, and I get really enthused with it, and really excited about it, because of, you know, the fact that I don't really get to talk about it that much, and in, 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 unless it's a situation like this one, right, so, you know, it, it kind of, like, lets everything out, like, the floodgates open, and a lot of people are just waiting for the opportunity that they can just let their mouth go, right, a, a lot of people just want that kind of opportunity, but a lot of the time, from our, in our day-to-day experiences, we don't get that kind of attention, we don't get that many opportunities to talk about what we really want to talk about, right, so if you're one of these people that goes up to someone and asks them about the things that they're passionate about, asks them about their hobbies, they're going to be so like, yay, (laughs) I get to talk about the things I care about for a change, right, so if you can get yourself to that point where you're able to go up to people and ask them things about stuff that they really like to talk about, of course, if it's the first time you're meeting someone, then you might have to fish a little bit, but the way that you'll know if you found something that this person really cares about, they'll light up, 
they'll just start getting really, really excited about it and they'll wanna keep on talking about it, right? And all you have to do is just keep on asking them questions about it. You know, like, oh, what do you mean by that? Oh, how, how come? You know, just keep on asking them questions about the thing that they're passionate about and they will just love it and you'll be very good. And they'll think you're a great conversationalist even though they're probably the one that's gonna be doing, be doing like 80 to 90% of the talking. So anyway, you know, those are some things that I've personally learned, some things that I've personally gone through that has helped me overcome shyness because at one point I didn't say anything when I was a kid that much. You know, it was very rare that I would open up to people, to anybody, right? Um, you know, I was very, very shy, you know. It had to, you know, if, if I was I was so bad, basically. If I wanted to make a friend, you know, someone had to, like, come up to me and speak to me in order for me to, you know, want to hang out with them and stuff. Like, I would not initiate anything as, as that kind of kid and it really helped me when I did go to secondary school and there was a fresh slate with a lot of new kids and luckily I met um, um, one of my first proper friends who um, you know just was completely unapolog un unapologetically herself in front of me which gave me the permission to do the exact same thing to be unapologetically myself and you know, if you can allow that for other people if you are unapologetically yourself and you you know just yourself um, you know, that will give the, uh, people around you the permission to do exactly the same thing. And that's basically my tips on how to overcome shyness. That's my video on, on that. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you would like me to discuss anything in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.